Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. Believe me when I say it's going to happen. Let's read from Acts 1, verse 9 to 11. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. It is amazing how we hear that some events will take place and we accept it as given. Like the presidential election in the USA, it happens every four years in November of the stated year. The next one is going to be November 2024. Oh, Britain is caught up in the platinum jubilee for Queen Elizabeth II, who has been reigning as monarch for the past 70 years. That event is coming and everybody accepts it. When was the last time you got an invitation to the wedding of two people you know well? You mark the date on your calendar, you cancel other engagements, you shop for the nicest clothes, the ladies get their hair and nails done, all of that for an event that you hear is going to happen on a certain date. This one is not so current, but in certain places, if word gets out that the circus is coming to town a month from now, people start to plan for it. They're, they are certain these things will happen as planned. Now that you and I understand about future events, let us add something else to the list of events that will happen. Let me just say it up front. Whether you believe it or not, regardless of the weather, regardless of where you will be, regardless of whether there is a war going on in some part of the world or not, whether you are in mid-flight across the Atlantic, one thing is certain and nothing is going to stop it. Jesus is coming again. Hold on, hold on. Don't shut me off yet. At least pay, listen to what I have to say. How comes you believe that the wedding will happen, that the election of the president will happen, that your daughter is going to graduate at the end of her four years in college, and yet you scoff at the statement I made that Jesus is coming again? Come on, hear me out. First of all, he promised that he would. He told his disciples one day that he was going to go back to where he came from, heaven, and he is going to undertake a massive preparation for heaven to accommodate all his followers. How will they get there? He said that he is personally coming back to earth to collect all of his people, those in Christ, and he's going to take them back with him to heaven to live forever. I will be the first to admit that it sounds preposterous because I have never seen anything like that before. And in my logical mind, it doesn't meet the test of science. But Jesus said it. And guess what? I believe it. Well, the text before us says it. Just like how you see him ascending into heaven, that he is coming back in similar fashion. Believe me, I could not make that up myself, even if I tried. So how will it happen? It will be epic for sure. It will be dramatic, like something out of the movies, except you've never seen this movie before, because it is going to happen. Listen to this. The master himself will give the command, Archangel thunder, God's trumpet blast. He'll come down from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise first. They will go. Then the rest of us who are still alive at the time will be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the master. Oh, we will be walking on air. And then there will be one huge family reunion with the master. Are you still with me? You don't believe it, do you? It sounds like something out of a mystery book. But you ask me how it will happen, and this is the blueprint. This is exactly what the Bible says. I tell you that it sounds fascinating to me, but then, if you know God, he does things grand. He does the extraordinary. That day is going to be like no other day. Imagine, graves will just pop open all over the place and some living persons will come out. I say some, because only Jesus' followers will come out of their tombs or wherever their human remains were laid. Graves, the sea, in an urn. This mis mysterious event will happen and ain't nothing is going to stop it. Well, 
imagine you are driving in your nice fancy car past a cemetery and you see these people going up in the air. No hot air balloon. They are going up like what happened to Jesus in the text. But then something else happens. Some living people will instantly be jerked off the ground and they too start to float upwards in the air. Oh, there is one detail that must not be missed. Only Jesus' followers will be involved in this great uptake of humans. This part you have to believe. If you don't have an invitation, you will not be admitted into the big wedding. If you don't have a ticket, you won't get to see the circus that is coming to town. Same thing is true for this grand, amazing event. If you are not a child of God, if you never believed that Jesus is Lord, then you will not be included in this grand affair. All those people, the ones who were dead and the ones who would be living when this thing comes around, as long as there was a time in their personal lives that they gave their heart to Jesus, then they are guaranteed to be in that number. My friend, I would love for you to be part of that great event. I hope you don't think I'm scaring you into something that is unreal. Believe me when I say it is going to happen. Just you wait and see. Well, are you ready to give your life to Jesus? If you need help, please let me know in your email that you will send to friendofclyde at gmail.com.